guys, today I thought I would show you how I organize our petty receipts. I love learning how other people like to organize, so I thought I would share in case anyone else does too. Like I said before, I'm no organizing expert and not everything works for everybody. So first, let me tell you what I consider to be a petty receipt. These include items like groceries, clothing, beauty, bathroom item, etc. So things that I don't consider petty receipts are related to healthcare, car maintenance, and major household items. So any receipts that relate to healthcare bills and prescriptions are filed elsewhere for FSA, HSA purposes, where we may have to itemize. And as you probably know, some doctor's offices can take months to reconcile their accounts. So it's good to have any receipts from co-pays as backup proof, especially since sometimes that information isn't always available online. I actually had just read online somewhere that those healthcare receipts for HSA, FSA purposes, you really need to hang on to them for even up to 10 years. It's a requirement by the IRS uh, for tax purposes. So if you know any information about that, let me know, you know, especially if you happen to be an accountant, I'll be using another file system for those receipts. The supplies are super simple. I bought file folder enclosures from the Dollar Tree. They come in a three pack of red, white, and blue. I bought four of them to have 12 total, one envelope per month. Now, I like having the snap enclosures because, as you know, sometimes receipts can be really small, and I'm less likely to lose them if they're an enclosed file envelope versus something like a regular file folder. They're all placed into two upright file boxes that I bought for like $3 or something like that from Ikea. And the whole system is located in a part of the house I call my incoming outgoing system. So instead of filing petty receipts by category, you know, like groceries, clothing, etc., I like to file them by month. And this is really similar if you've ever heard of the Freedom Filer system. Um, similar to that in a way in that it's self-cleaning. Um, but honestly, I did not want to get that system because it was too much for me. I, I wanted to simplify it even more. And plus, I don't have $40 to spend on a filing system. Now, as for real life application, what happened, it's super simple. Is whenever I empty my purse or I put away groceries or other shopping items, I just grab the receipts and toss them willy nilly into the file folder. So, for example, you know, the current month is April, and all petty receipts bought this month will go into the April folder. Any groceries I buy, any Dollar Tree Easter items, any spring clothing, etc. Any of those receipts I will just throw into this folder. I won't worry about date, I won't worry about category, I just throw them in here and I don't have to worry about it. Um, you could try to get even more precise and file the receipts within the folder by date from back to front. I could lie to you and tell you I do it that way, but I don't. Now tomorrow is May 1st. So what I'm gonna do tonight is take out the May folder. Now, as you can probably see, there are receipts already in this folder and you're probably wondering why. You know, it's not like these receipts are from the future or anything like that. But these receipts are actually from last May, May 2013. For our needs, these receipts are super duper old and are way past their usefulness now. All of these get tossed into the shredder. And now, this is completely emptied and fresh and ready to go for purchases this month, May 2014. Once this folder is full and June comes around, I'm gonna do the same thing with the June folder. I love, love, love filing petty receipts this way. This system of monthly emptying makes it very neat and orderly. I'm not spending hours anymore going through old faded receipts from four or five years ago. For me, it's easier to keep things organized if I deal with it in small doses. The reason I keep these receipts is because of any potential cash back down the road. That's one of the reasons. So for example, for many groceries you buy and household items, there are apps now, like for your phone, for example, that give you cash back 
if you upload a photo of your receipts as proof that you bought certain items. This also applies to certain restaurant chains as well, depending on the app. I talked about this in a previous video about getting Heinz ketchup for free in March, that kind of thing. And when I mean apps, I'm talking about Ibotta, Shopmium, Checkout 51. There's all sorts of those new apps popping up everywhere now. now I keep petty receipts for clothing in case I'd like to return certain items. Well, the return policy for a lot of stores is three months or less, but I keep the receipt anyway just in case I myself would like to sell the item later on. Now, if you don't do a ton of shopping and you wanted to make this even more concise, you could pare this down to three or six folders instead of 12. Now, if you needed to, though, you can even double this system from spanning over one year to two years. So a two-year system may be particularly good if you do a ton of resell reselling of children's items. For example, if I wanted to sell my daughter's winter coat from winter 2013, but, you know, I wasn't ready to until two years later in winter 2015, a two-year system may work better. So this here is an Ikea magazine rack that I had installed in a part of the kitchen right next to where I drop off groceries, clean out my purse, etc. I'm short, so I put the folder right at a height that I cannot avoid. And I even tuck in the top flap to make it open and ready for receipts. And the other stuff in this magazine rack, I have incoming magazines here um, and old magazines are up here. And then once a month, I will empty out this and then put these magazines up there. Also, I have a little clippy thing. Uh, it's magnetic for any outgoing mail that has to be mailed out, you know, any cards or letters or checks I wanna mail. And then I have hidden behind here the um, letter opener that we use. And it's, I put it behind here because just to keep the look more clean. And right next to that magazine rack is the rest of the petty receipt system. So this is what I was showing you earlier. Um, you know, the six month January through June and then July through December. And next to it, I have store catalogs and coupons. Um, you know, coupons to Old Navy, any catalogs to Ikea, but honestly, I try not to keep a lot of catalogs anyway because it's just too much paper and um, most of it's available online. And then next to it, I have restaurant menus and coupons, any takeout menus. Now, there are several ways to file petty receipts. Many people do it by category, such as in having separate folders for groceries, gasoline, clothing, household, etc. If you are very on top of this kind of system, more power to you. It just didn't work for me. I have found the categorical kinds of receipt filing to be too bulky and unorganized. Plus when I actually needed to find the receipt, the whole point of having the system in the first place, it took me so much longer and I just would give up on it or not even bother anymore. Found it easier to find old receipts this way by filing by month because I can usually remember when I bought I'm sure the there product. are going to be plenty of people that don't like the system or find it kind of messy and disorganized. But, you know, given my needs and limitations, this is what works for me. So that is how I organize our petty receipts. If it's a bit confusing to you and you'd like to know more, please let me know. Let me know what kinds of systems you use or have used and what has or hasn't worked for you. Thank you so much for watching and take care.